Good evening. Hi, my friends. Welcome to another English class. I'm checking that some of you are like uh, driving or moving from their their job to uh, your house. So let's see who do we have here. I know it is kind of difficult. I, it's Wednesday, and we are in well in the middle of the week. So. I know, kind of difficult. I'm waiting for the weekend. I guess you too, right? What about Maho? Good evening, Maho. How are you doing? Good, uh, good evening. Everything in order? Okay, or tiring day? Yes. Heavy? It's Wednesday in the middle of the week. I'm tired. The traffic Typical. is deaf. The traffic is horrible. Okay. Today with the close of the street for the Miss Universe. Miss Universe, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. traffic jam. So yes. you were victim of traffic. Uh, every time, every day. Well, every day, but today was uh, worse. Was yes. more difficult. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. How much time, uh, Maho, spending on the mm, traffic? Almost one hour and a half. Okay. And usually, how much do you take? 30 minutes. Yes, come on, 30 minutes. It's acceptable, Maho. Come on, 30 yes. minutes is good. But yeah. yeah, more than one hour, yes, it's it's hard. Well, yes. I'm so sorry, Maho, but finally you are at home. So you can get some coffee or, I don't know, any drink. So Yes, like a cola champagne. Yes, a good one. Very cold. Thank you, Maho. Yes. Okay, nice, nice. What about Robert? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, I'm glad how to you? Okay, nice to nice to see you again. Okay, uh, problems with traffic, uh, Robert? Tonight? No, I drive. Oh, really? Uh, from Santa Ana to Chalchuapa. Oh, uh, you Some traffic in Unasa. Ah, you work. Okay, okay, nice. Nice in Santa Ana. Yes, I wa I worked in Santa Ana like uh, six years ago. A nice place. Well, um, so what about your day? How was it? Uh, I'm so I'm tired. Tiring day. Okay, but I you're need going to on vacation now. <laughs> yeah, I know. We all need vacations. But come on, Robert. Are you finishing on November 30th? 30th? At Oh, you're, you're first, going to continue first in, of December, the first week, or the, the first, first day. Ah, <laughs> oh, the first day. Okay, One. nice. Yeah, come on, my friend. It is like what? Sixteen days. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maho is yeah. waiting for her vacations. Come on, as well. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, teacher. And uh, Maho, how much vacations you have during the year? Um... I mean. I have my vacation days on uh, October, the last month, mm -hmm. and it was 15 days, only 15 days. Uh, did you take advantage of that? Yes, I climbed uh, Isla Matepe Volcano. Ah, yeah, that's and, what you were saying. Hmm. Yes, yes, Peñón of Comasagua. I was camping in Conchagua. And I climb in Los Tercios waterfall in Suchitoto. <laughs> so I have advantage of my vacations. Yeah, good ones. That's nice. Yes. Now you have good pictures and good memories of that. Thank, thank you, you thank you. Yes, yeah, good. I remember when I was young, I used to go like traveling. You are young? Yeah, but I was younger. <laughs> and I used to go with my band. We have a group of music and we were playing um, in the bus and in the music, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and in music. How do you know? You well, came, you came to my home to to play music. So I remember that I saw your face in in in, in a in a place. So I don't remember. And I, how do you say swear? Ah, recordando me. I was uh, remembering. remembering. Yeah, I was. Uh -huh, I was remembering. Really? And yes, Kenaya, right? Yes, Kenai is, is the mm -hmm. band I belong yes. to. Uh, I'm sorry, where was it? I don't remember very in well. Santo Tomas and in Chaltepe. 
Santo Tomás, yes. It's, it's all a lot of time. Woo. I guess I was really young and I was very thin. Now I'm, I'm different. <laughs> but well, maybe, but, yeah. I yeah, remember but, we went to Santo Tomás. Yes, in, in I that follow, area. I follow your group in, in Facebook. Thank you. So you, Thank you. you you are playing Panchimalco, right? Yeah. Right, so uh, sometimes. Yes. Mainly in Panchimalco, in, in Planes de Rederos, but mainly the, the, the group is from, from Panchimalco. And yeah, we have like 15 years playing some music, creating songs, because we have music in Spotify and YouTube. And yes, it is like original music. Yeah. So I, I could imagine that maybe you have an idea because you're like Nahuat and some Yes. Uh, well, that that like uh, uh, okay, part no, of no. the culture. So yeah, yes. okay. So thank you, thank you for mentioning Maho. Maybe we're going to talk later because I maybe we have some things in common because okay. you remember my band. Thank you for okay. for remind me uh those those days of glory that I have when I I was young. Thank you, Maho. Are you, you music? Music yeah, I, I play some instruments. Even I teach uh, some some instruments. I teach music, but I uh, perform um, like wind instruments, like pan flutes, sampoña, and charango, and all those instruments. Uh -huh. Yeah, I Andina. have like, yeah, music andina, yeah, Andean music or Latin American music. And we create music as well, including now what works, and some praise panic uh, instruments or praise panic sounds. Yeah, so like this wow. and that. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, I, I love it. Definitely, I love it. But well, I'm going to, we're, we are working on the, the next album that we have some some other music that we have not recorded yet, but I hope, I hope we can do it next year. So, well, thank you, my friends. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. What about if we go now with okay, Denise? It's kind of complicated, similar similar than Vicky, but here we have Ernest. Okay, Ernest. Hi there. Good evening. And enjoy your meal, my friend. I know it is kind of snacks. Good, good to have some snacks this time. Okay, and here we have Brandon, um, Maritza. Welcome back, Maritza. And Raquel Fredis. Good evening. Uh, Morelio. Good evening, Maritza. Everything okay? In order? Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice, Maritza. Thank you for answering. And Nancy, hi there. Yes, teacher. Hi there. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, no problem. Are you happy with your yes. life, with your salary? No okay. <laughs> okay, Morelia, right? I'm here. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I'm better your... than yesterday, but... Are you I'm... happy with your salary? Uh, Yes, I'm really <laughs> happy. <laughs> okay, nice. It sounds like really good, very convinced. Thank you. Okay, class <laughs> number 15, talking about new terms and review and practice, but mainly if we have some doubts, okay? um, Here we have some phrases. Ways to say, hurry up. Imagine um, sometimes you are in a rush. You are in a rush and you need to do things quickly, as fast as you can. So you can wait because you don't have too much time. So you can say, come on, fast. Or you can say, hurry up. But also you can use, come on, chop, chop. Step on it. Snap it up. There's no time to lose. Shake a leg. Let's speed up. Let's go faster. Okay? Come on. Chop, chop. Step on it. Snap it up or snap it up. But commonly, the T between two vowels sounds like R. So, snap it up. There's no time to lose. Shake a leg. Let's speed up. And let's go faster. When you say let's go faster, is uh, yeah, you increase the speed, the velocity. 
and speed up. And this can be applied for motorcycles and cars as well. So shake a leg is uh, mover las piernas. Put it. Okay. I'm going to check the attendance list. As always, my friends, I will appreciate if you say hi, hello, good evening. And one of these phrases, the one that you prefer, the one that you think. Okay, uh, Alex, uh, no, no, right? We don't have Alex by now. Ana Raquel, I don't know if you're there. Okay, if not, well, Vicky is driving. She told me that. Uh, Brandon, yes, Brandon. Teacher. Thank you. Come, come on. Good, perfect. Hey, Denise has some difficulties. So, Freddy's, um, I don't know if you're there. Freddy's? Maybe yes, maybe not. Maybe he's absent right now. Um, Albert? Albert, hello there. No, by now. Okay, Ernest. There's no time to lose. Okay, that's it. Okay, we don't have Luis Eduardo, Majo. Okay, Majo, hi there again. Good evening, and uh, let's speed up. Good one. Maritza, hi there. I'm here. Thank you. Shake, shake a leg. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, Miguel, I don't know if Miguel is here. Uh, I suppose no. But Morelia, yes, Morelia. Good evening, shop, shop. Good one, thank you. Nancy, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Come on. Okay, that's it. Uh, Robert, hello again, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Let's go faster. Good evening. Okay, that's it. And Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. There's no time to lose. Yeah, that's it. There's no time to lose. So now we uh, don't have more time to lose. So we move to the first speaking activity. And we have like this. Where did you grow up? What do you remember the most? Grow up, it's a composed verb. Grow, crecer, up. It's a preposition, but when you put it together, grow up is crecer. Uh, mainly when you're a kid, you grow up in some place and or in any place. But uh, maybe when you're adolescent or adult, you go, you move to another place. So it happens. Okay, it happens to a lot of people that they live, for example, in Sensuntepeque. Uh, they grew up in Sensutepeque, but now they live in um, San Jacinto, for example, or no. So you can say, I grew up in, and you mentioned the place, okay? And you can say what I remember the most, remember, not remember, like, um, like this. And I will tell you some examples how we mention letter E, but it is not like this. 11, it's not 11. December, not December, because maybe we get confused. We say, ah, these words are really easy, but come on. 11, December, remember. Okay, so that way. I grew up in... What I remember the most is, and you you may you can say the meetings, the reunions, the familiar reunions, mm, some games, maybe the holidays, some cartoons, I don't know, a lot of things that you may remember. I need you to uh, please text it in the chat, okay, my friends? And then we're going to, well, to check that one by one. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Okay. So please remember, this is the, uh, the answer. I grew up in what I remember the most is 
So you have a couple of seconds to text and write your answers, please. Well, let's listen. Um, definitely, we're going to have different um, different <clears throat> versions because some of you may uh have ground in the countryside, some other maybe urban areas. Let's listen to Maho. 
Anten Maritza. Okay. I grew up in Santo Tomas. What I remember the most is my grandmother. Uh, she had an oven made of mud in the in her garden, in which she she always made semita and quesadilla. Wow. And I always really enjoyed the bread that she made. Perfect, because uh, it was like just prepared, even very warm, right? Yes. Okay, that's a really good one. Did your um, grandma used to sell uh, the same uh, semita and quesadilla? Or just for no, you? Just for the family? Just for us, and she gave to another person, to, to, to our neighborhoods. Yeah, very nice. But never because... sell. Mm, good. But she saved money. Instead of buying it, she prepared it. And even it, it was more special because yes. it was like the, yeah, the, the, their ingredients, well, the order, they have, they have the, well, she had the recipe. Okay, so good. Yes. Good memory uh, in Thank Santo you. Tomas. Okay. Uh, your, is your grandmother alive? Still alive? Yes. Uh, he has um, 82 years. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yes. Take advantage of that time. It's very, very, yes. very special and yes. important. Yeah. So that's it. Good. I, I really love to listen to those stories. Thank you, Maho. Thank you. Maritza. And then Robert. Good evening. Okay. Nice. Good evening. Tell us. Well... I grew up with my dad and my brother in the city of Ayutuxtepeque. Mm -hmm. What I remember most from my childhood is when my cousin, my brother, my neighbors, uh, and I play different games. For example, hide and seek, soccer, TF and police, and ETC. Also, we like to play video games and I recall we we stayed awake watching movies or or cartoons, cartoons all, all night. night. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the most important things when you have like family, well you have kids in, from in, similar to your age or neighbors who's uh, I'm sorry, neighbors, okay? So some some friends it is nice. You have very thin uh, memories, very healthy. So you had a very good childhood, Maritza. You enjoy it, right? Enjoy playing. And yes, you... in my neighborhood, um, my my neighbors and mm -hmm. I uh, had we had similar age. Ah, uh, yeah, that's one of the advantages. Yeah, that's it. It is different when you don't have like um, you don't have uh, kids from your age, so that's kind of difficult. But good, good mm -hmm. for you, Maritza. In your memories, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, we go with Robert and then Nancy. Okay, Robert, your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, I was born in Santa Ana. I lived there until I was five years old. Then I moved to Chalchuapa and I grew up here and I like it a lot. It was a rural area and life was very different, but more interesting. What I remember most is when I played soccer in the rain and we went to look for free fruits in various places. Of course, before it became dangerous. Yeah, that's it. I remember I also went to look for oranges, right? And mangoes. different mangoes, yes, coconuts. Yeah, uh, yes, but maybe some dip, some the problem was some dogs the from the owner or, or the person in charge was with the with a corvo, with a machete. <laughs> but yes. in but it, it, it was not dangerous because some other things, but you have a very good childhood. And yes, playing. I remember uh, a dog by me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, that, that's why I, I say dogs are like uh, taking care of of the, the, the hacienda or the fincas. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. 
En good, Chalchuapa, yes. I know Chalchuapa a little bit. One of my trips was to, to visit Tazumal and some other places, but I, I visited El Trapiche. El Trapiche is, a, a, yes, like, like a, a water park. There are some pools, right? And, and yes, and yes, there are... Trapiche is called this, this water, El Balneario. Ah, okay, yes. I guess, but, I don't know if it is natural water. El Trapiche that... is all this place, including uh, one... Uh, es una, una estructura precolombina que es privada ah, también okay. se le llama el trapiche ah ok I didn't visit that but well nice nice yes Chalchopa it's a beautiful a beautiful city I like it a lot ok thank you Robert very nice memories from Chalchopa ok we go now with Nancy and then Morelia Nancy please tell us ok I grew up in Lourdes Colón in the grandmother house why i remember the most is playing with my neighbors in the street until 10 at night yeah that was that was so amazing yeah that happened to me playing soccer on the street until 10 10 30 yeah and it was really yeah. nice because if you remember in the past we didn't have too much cars too many cars i'm sorry there were there were not too many cars, motorcycles, so you could play on streets from different games, yeah. of course. Okay, so, okay yeah. Lourdes, Colón. And at that time, uh, it was not dangerous, right? I, I mean, that period of time, right, Nancy? Yes, sí. Because after that, yeah, Lourdes got kind of dangerous. Well, some people say that. Thank you. Sí. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you yep. for sharing. Here we have Morelia with new hairstyle. Nice. Hi, Morelia. Hi. I grew up in El Coyolito, Chalatenango. Okay. What I remember the most is that I learned to play trumpet at six year, years ago for my father because he was a music teacher. Wow. Interesting, yeah. nice, because uh, there are a lot of parents that they are, uh, they teach music, but their sons or daughters, they don't learn any instrument. I have known a lot of cases, but in your case, it was the exception, okay? El Coyolito, I don't know that. Yeah. Uh, what, El Coyolito is near any other, maybe the Paraíso or the Jutla or uh, San Ignacio, yes. no. It's before um, Amayo, the return of Amayo, and the, in Amayo is the the street to go to Chalatenango, El Poi, oh, and Oh, okay, Concepcion. yes, yes, okay. It's before it. that, near to Plaza Don John. Mm, I guess yes, yes, it yes. is like a it's road. In road. This, this <clears throat> one. Okay, nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very interesting name. Yeah, good. <clears throat> and now, and what about your trumpet? Do you have it with you or not with your father? Or... Um, I don't have my my trumpet here because I I have to. I live the to play trumpet, on a ah, twenty seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because yes, yes. I grew up and and you I... had some other things to do, right? Like yeah. studies, like love. Okay, in some other aspects. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Morelia. Okay, You're very welcome. nice, very interesting, interesting. Uh, Brandon and Ernest. Ernest. Hey, Brandon. Okay. Uh, I grew up in Ilopango. What I remember most is when. We stood in, in line at the pump because the water didn't fall often. It was so much fun because we all got wet. Yeah, and I I can tell you that that uh, helped you to create some de defense 
So you didn't get sick, right? It happened. And even the rain in the, in, in the past, it was like kind of different now. Even the sun, imagine, uh, to having, uh, to spending the day under the sun, it was really different in the past than now. It is like, uh, yeah, you can have some injuries. Thank you, Ernest and Roxana, please. I, I grew up in San Salvador near Soyapango. <clears throat> okay. And I remember the feeling when Christmas were coming <clears throat> because my parents decorated the house and I watched uh, cartoons on TV. Yeah, yeah. At that, that time, uh, Christmas time, it is maybe one of the best times uh, in the year for kids. Yes, it is like very magic for different reasons, not just for the present, for the fireworks, okay? The cuetillos, the volcanoes, yeah, a lot of things. And also you, you mentioned um, you used to see cartoons on TV. I remember, I don't know if you remember, but in the past there was, what was the, there was the name of, of uh, not a program, it was a set of programs for kids. I don't know, Felice Vacaciones or something like that was called, but yeah. yes, right, something yes. I don't remember. But the something point like is, okay, you could see cartoons during during the morning, in the afternoon, it was really nice. Yes, yes. okay. Good, Ernest. Yeah, good memories good. from childhood. Good memories, right. Thank you, Roxana. You go, my dear friend. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I grew up in San Salvador. What mm -hmm. I remember is that when I was five years old, I studied a kindergarten near my mom's work. We used to get up very early because we were traveling every day from Ciudad Delgado to Venezuela Boulevard. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes, we have to hurry up every day. Mm-hmm. It is kind of sacrifice for kids doing that. Yes. Even I know that it was the only way to, to be okay because uh, the kindergarten where you assisted was near your mom's work. But for a kid, for a, 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 a yes, for a girl of five years old, kind of difficult to get up really early. What time uh, do you remember you, you used to get up? At five, at five a.m. Five a.m. Yes, yes. Ima and it was also because my grandmother lives near there. So when I finished the kindergarten, I used to go to the uh, my grandmother's house. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Remember that parents, mothers, or fathers, they have to look for the best option. Yeah, to yes. take care of the kids. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, nice. If you notice, five years old and good memory. Yeah. No, it. yes, yes. <laughs> nice, perfect. I like it. Thank you. Okay, we continue now, my friends, and here we have this. Um, We're going to learn how to design a basic checklist to evaluate our procedure, okay? Um, is there a quality department in your workplace? I don't know, maybe, yes, I guess the most of you have it, but do they monitor and evaluate uh, your procedures? Well, you tell me. What about you, Maho? Uh, do you have a person to monitor or to see the procedures that you do? Or do you have kind of freedom? No, they have a quality analyst in my department, so they, they watch all things that you do there the procedures to the treatment to the cost to the customers the procedures in our platform to change flights all things and wow. they evaluating me mm -hmm. yes they are watching you every step you do every time okay thank you maho and what about you roberto do you have a person checking or monitoring what you do the procedures that you do the things you do Yes, uh, for example, the manager of the college, the director, I don't know what's there. Uh, the principal. Word. 
the principal. Principal, okay. Mm -hmm. And coordinator. Yeah, the coordinator. Yeah, coordinator. Yeah, there's the principal, the principal and the coordinator. The coordinator, they are checking. Yeah, and if you do something wrong, the coordinator tell us to the principal. Roberto is doing that thing. Yeah. Okay. So. Yes. For example, when we was teaching in class, mm -hmm. they in one in some days uh, come into the class and, uh, and watch to check or to work watch your class. Yes. And yeah, that... they and they have uh, a a a rubric. Yeah, yes, yes, a rubric to evaluate or to check if you are following your planning, your if you are following the steps, exactly. the things assigned. Okay, yes, okay, yeah. I guess that's kind of tense, right? But well, that it's part Not. of the <laughs> yes, because you have it is very different if you are doing your job, but when they are uh, watching you, it's like like waiting for something. So. Mm -hmm. They, I have experienced that. I they are watching all our steps. <laughs> yeah, come on. But okay, I know what 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 you mean. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Ernest, do you have a person watching you or monitoring the things you do? No, no, not uh, not every time. Not de forma directa. Not, not directly. directly. Not directly. Okay, or directly. Mm -hmm. Um, I I have partners, uh, and I I in charge of make payments to okay to, uh, to the employees or, or or to or other pro suppliers suppliers right right okay. and uh, I provide the the doc in in physical. Mm -hmm. versus uh, the system ah, I, okay. I check if they if they if they have <clears throat> introduced the information correctly okay thank you okay yes but you're always on their a i sorry thank you okay morelia and then roxana morelia what about you do do you feel that a person is monitoring or checking what you do um no, not exactly because and anyone, yeah, mm -hmm. or each one have to do. So you we we have the work and some question or any anything uh, -oh. uh we ask. But yeah, the the doctor that is the the boss mm -hmm. just tell us. You have to do this, 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 and this. At what at that time I have to did it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask. Oh, okay, but that they have like confidence. Yes, very. Uh, yes, because you are a good worker. But in yeah. any case, if you do something wrong, they are going to maybe notice and they are going to call you. Right? They say, okay, Morelia, this happens and so on. Right? Um, but good. Yes. But you don't feel like it's pressure, fun. right? You don't feel like a person is watching what mm. you do. For the way that she told the, the things, yes. Mm -hmm. We we feel depression. Oh, okay. It's her mother. Yeah. Her, and you get accustomed. Her mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. her mood. Yeah, her mood or her personality. Okay. Her mood is, is very. Uh, her personality. Personality is very strong. <laughs> okay. I don't know who say that. Okay. But... Yeah, but I got it. Mm -hmm. It yeah. happens. But you're accustomed, right? Get accustomed to. You're accustomed now to, to work. Yes, right? I have two years there, so yes. it's normal. No. Yeah, it is normal. Thank you, Morelia. Yeah, Roxana okay. and then Maritza. Do you have a person, monitoring? No, no, no monitoring. Uh, it's like Morelia. Each one knows how to to do. So we have a boss in Peru. Yes, in Peru. And when he needs some in Peru, when he needs uh, something very urgently, 
he call us to each one mm -hmm. and ask for for he needs. Okay. But no one is monitoring the work. It is nice. It is nice because you you have kind of freedom yes. to do the things. Thank you. Yes. Good, good environment. Yes. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, Maritza and Thank then Nancy. Okay, Maritza, tell us in your case. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. The I question. The problem. The question is: Do you do you have a person checking, watching, or monitoring your activities or the procedures you do? Ah, I'm sorry. I guess she got up right. Nancy, uh, what about you? Um. um Something like that. Uh, the finished work that is going out has to be perfect. Uh -huh. That everything is com it's complete. It's in order. This verification, mm -hmm. this verification is done by the person who delivers the work. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Nancy. Yes. Uh, remember, it is uh, necessary a person to verify if everything is okay, if the procedures or the process or your functions are normally are correct, because if not, uh, it means that the company is not doing well, or maybe a problem is going to appear. So. Let's do this. Complete the satisfaction survey. Okay, survey encuesta. Using the words in the box, here we have seated, dishes, dining, taking, server. If you notice, here we have instructions. Please indicate the, your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statements. And here we have uh, four levels. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Agree strongly agree from okay um here we have some one two four five okay five spaces you tell me if um let's take a look to this you tell me if you know where these words uh where the these words go located i'm going to give you like couple of seconds. Okay, any volunteer? And remember that five and six are complete, right? So we don't need to add any word here. Seated, dishes, dining, taking, server. Okay, maybe Number Morelia. Two. Number two. The server was there to take our order quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we're going to change the. Let me check this. I'm trying to check this, but okay. Yeah, the server. Okay, so anybody else? Okay, maybe Ernest? No, <clears throat> I think number one, uh, we were, no, we were seated. Yeah. Properly. Mm -hmm. 
promptly is quickly. It's fast. Mm -hmm. So thank oh. you. Yes, that's it. That's correct. We have three, four, and seven. Maybe Robert got one. I think the three. Mm -hmm. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Yeah, that's it. Maho, what about you? I think the last one is considering everything over a uh, dining mm -hmm. experience was a good value. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely it is dining. Okay, and the other is our server coordinated the timing of the dishes. Okay. So we can assume that this survey is to evaluate or it's a checklist uh, about uh, the service provided in a restaurant, right? If you notice, number one, we were seated promptly, okay? Um, two, the server was there to take our order quickly. Three, the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. For our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. The server was able to answer to uh, all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining experience was good, uh, was a good value. Okay, maybe one uh, characteristic could it be like this? Uh, there are different. Uh, options in which uh, you can say adverbs and the adverbs reflect uh, the whole sentence. Los adverbios modifican toda la oración y a veces se vuelven como la parte más importante. Fíjense bien. We were seated promptly. The server was there to take our order quickly. So, the the emphasis is in these words promptly quickly or our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly okay so adverbs are important in this case if you want to specify or make emphasis okay so here we have strongly disagree agree strongly agree I'm, I'm going to mention something in number one. We were seated promptly. I remember that when I was a kid, I used to go to the center of San Salvador uh, on, on Ruben Darío Street, I guess. It is like that. And there was a pizza hut over uh, the Spencer Don Juan, I guess. Uh, in front of the, the pizza was Pollo Campero, uh, near Eximan, in the center of San Salvador, for you to, to, to have an idea. And that Pizza Hut restaurant was always crowded. There were some stairs, I mean, escaleras, like gradas, and there were lines of people there waiting, like 30 minutes, 45 or even one hour waiting to uh, get seat. Did it imagine so uh, maybe that was very demanded restaurant but anyway uh, to wait one hour to eat it is like very very uh, complicated so based on this we have to create a survey we're going to work in pairs okay and I'm going to give you one format I'm going to send a format in to the whatsapp group I need you to write five, um, five statements or a checklist of five options in which you can evaluate a service. Can be it can be in a bank, it can be in a restaurant, 
it can be in a hotel or it can be in any place that you, you prefer, okay? So we're going to evaluate a service by creating a survey. So imagine that any person is going to evaluate that survey, service, okay? Um, so that's it. Imagine a survey to evaluate Seguro Social. When you go to the, <laughs> for an emergency or you go, you, are, you feel sick and there is a survey, Imagine in Seguro Social, you don't feel, you don't fulfill or complete a survey. Nunca no van a pasar una encuesta. Why? Because the service, it's not so good sometimes or most of the times. Okay. So we're going to be in pairs. And remember, I'm going to send this same format. Les enviaré este mismo formato. Solo me escriben cinco, verdad, opciones para evaluar. Five uh, statements. Okay. I'm going to first create the the groups think about as i as i told you before you can talk about restaurants hospitals it can you can talk about um, yeah hotels and uh, yeah different uh, different places okay let's see first i'm going to give you like eight ten minutes Okay. I don't know if Fred, Freddy's, are you there or do you have some difficulties? I don't know if you're going to be a listener. Alex and Nock. I'm just checking because some of you have like difficulties. Okay, my friends, please accept the, the, the request.
Okay, my friends, I needed to accept the request. In your case, Freddy's, if you listen, I don't know if you're there. I'm going to be checking group by group.
Okay, my friends, I guess uh, most of you have already finished. And we're going to check your survey. So let's see what you have. <clears throat> Maybe we can have Maho and uh, Ernest. Can you share the screen? Yes. To, mm -hmm, to, to show us what you have. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, yes, Maria Jose okay. empezó, empezó a funcionar. Yes. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, George? Yes. Uh, we think uh, this is our, our list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Number one, the staff is kind and patient taking your order. Mm -hmm. We think this is strongly agree. And uh, the restaurant is Pizza Hut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And number two, uh, the place is clean and comfortable. We think agree with this. Okay. Okay. With the fear, uh, was placed in a table quickly. Uh, we decide agree. Uh, the four is the food was of quality and meet your expectations. Uh, we decide agree to. And the last one is the prices are affordable. And uh, we decide disagree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of expensive. Yeah, yes. right. Definitely. Okay, thank you. Just one word in the second one. The place is comfortable. With comfortable. the double F. No, it's a, it's okay. Comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, ah, I guess it's M. Comfortable. I guess it's M. Okay. But uh, very good. Yeah, five good options to check, right? And you already have your answers. Okay, good. Because you give your... Uh, your opinion about this. Thank you, Maho and Ernest. Very, very good job. Okay, now let's listen to Morelia, Nancy, and Robert. Can anybody of you uh, share screen, please? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is an example to apply in uh, college. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I don't know if another classmate want to read. Okay. What about Morelia and Nancy? Yeah, I can read. Please. Uh, the classes are according to grade two of the students, and we are agree. The teachers are able to teach the signatures and we are strongly agree. The students feels, feel good with the his teacher and we are agree. And the infrastructure is comfortable and safety for the students, we are agree. And the parents are interested about the education of the students. We are agreed to. Mm, nice, nice, good points. I guess they are very valid and they are, yes, they, they, they are, they can take in, in a real survey as you do. Just two uh, points. Number two, the teachers are able to teach subjects, okay? Because signatures are, is firma, but it could be subjects, nice. And the mm -hmm. last one, mm -hmm. The parents are interested, interested about the education. No, the, 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 the word, it's okay. Just the pronunciation, but good okay. job, my friend. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Imagine you can uh, sell this survey. You can sell it. Very nice points. Thank you. Yeah, okay. very important point. Uh, when evaluating um, any school or private or public uh, institutional or, well, related to education. What about 
Maritza en Roxana. Ok, Maritza, Roxana. Okay, Wait, no problem. Take your time. Okay. Our restaurant is Clau Canela. Nice. Do you like the service in Clau Canela? I strongly agree. Do you consider that the menu prices are accessible? accessible? Agree. Would you like that Clau Canela offer delivery? Agree. Now mm -hmm. you, Maritza, read the, the other ones. Would, would you consider that the dishes were served at the correct time? Agree. The waiter, the waiter was kind when he take the order. Agree. Thank you. Very nice. Just one detail. When he takes takes the order or when he took uh, in the past. Yes. Took the order. Two options okay. are okay. Thank you. Uh, yes, Clavo, yeah. Clavo yes, and sir. Canela is a really good restaurant. That yes. I yes, I tried a dish. I don't know what was it. It's kind of chicken, but very, very delicious. I like it. That was the only yes. time that, that I visited, but mm -hmm. Good service. Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Um. Okay. Good. And let's see. We're going to continue now with a listening um exercise. In this case, well, the last listening exercises we have had um were about speeches or any topics, but now we have a conversation. So. Please take a look and try to listen to the names. Try to write informational because they are going to say personal info. Okay, this is a conversation between a man and a woman or a, a boy and a girl. I'm going to play it twice. So you have opportunities to listen let me check this okay here we go hi mario can you help me prepare some things for the next month Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks. I'm sorry, I guess I have some problem. With my internet, you were at the middle, I guess, of, of this conversation, right? I'm going to play it again. I hope this time we don't have problems. I hope so. Okay, here we go again. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? 
ask them when I can be them next week. Let's do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next task is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to give a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, um, do you need to listen uh, one more time? Yes, right. Maybe we're going to listen again. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can be them next week. Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next task is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to give a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Nice, nice, nice. Here we have um, some... Tell me uh, what information do you have? Um, what this is? What is this conversation about? What are the topics? What are the the phrases that you heard? Maybe any volunteer? The woman have to go to Germany. Oh, and nice. She was talking about of something very urgent, and. I don't know how is I, I listen well, but I hear uh, oh she need send some animals to the customers, <laughs> but I'm okay. sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you. Uh, we're going to, to okay. compare it later. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Roxana. I heard that Mario must have to send an email because they need to book a living room. Mm -hmm. and, then, and she has to give a presentation to the manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, was emails, not yes, animals. Yes, emails, uh -huh. like animals, emails, even uh, you can say different words, uh, Maybe depends on the pronunciation, depends on some things. But thank you, Robert. For any, <laughs> you you corrected yourself. Thank you. Anybody else? Majo, maybe Maritza. I maybe heard that, uh, mm, she need to Mario does a short report about new project to present to their managers, but, but it's less important than the send the email to the customer in Germany. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a level of importance of different activities that she's asking to Mario. Thank you, yes, very nice. Uh, Maritza, did you hear some something or anything? Um, so, so, and um, she, asked, she asked Mario for help. Uh, and he accepts um, and tells her that and 
Um, I go, how do you say? Él le dice que sí puede hacerlo. Uh, he told. He told her. He told he, her. That he uh, can. I'm sorry. He can do it. Sorry. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, let's compare. Thank you very much, Maritza. Well, uh, practically, uh, well, the name of the girl is Suzanne, but uh, there is no, well, it doesn't appear in the audio, right? So, hi, Mario, can you help me uh, prepare some things for the next month? And Mario says, okay, sure. What can I help you with? And Suzanne starts saying, I need to, you have to, can you, and some other things, okay? So definitely there are different um, activities that she needs, need, okay? She needs Mario to do it, okay? But thank you, you have like a very good listening. Nice. Um, let's move now to what's the name of the song? In, in this case, we have Maritza, right? No, me teacher. Uh, Majo, Majo, I'm sorry. No, Maritza, uh, what happens is that I, ha I have a list. But yesterday, Maritza was absent. So now, uh, Maritza, your turn is for tomorrow. Okay, Maritza? Okay. But tonight, we have Majo. Okay, Majo. Okay. Let's present one song that you like. Okay. I choose a easy song. I think that we were in love. <laughs> okay. And one time in our lives. So it yeah. the songs every one of us are listening. Okay. And yes, tonight the music seems so loud. I wish that we could lose this crowd. Maybe it's better this way. And we heard each other with the things we want to say. And we could have been so good together. We could have lived this dance forever. But now who's going to dance with me? Please stay. Careless Whispers. Careless Whispers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. With, the, with the part of the song, um, I... This. Okay, the subject pronouns, mm -hmm. I... On uh, I and we, object pronouns me, mm -hmm. possessive adjectives I can find, and possessive pronouns uh, I find I found it. It's okay. Uh, and examples of adjectives are loud, seems, mm -hmm. some adverbs, so and tonight, and I have this part. I ha I found a WH question uh, who and irregular verbs better could be and irregular verbs uh, stay dance and want and I found a preposition with. Thank you. Stop there, Maho. Very okay. nice. Yes, we have irregular verb, but better it's a comparative form. It's just that, and in the other it is regular verbs, right? Because we okay. have two irregulars, but yes, how about the... sorry. <laughs> relax, relax. Okay. okay, thank you. Can you go? Okay, thank you, Maho. Do you have more information about this? Or we are done? No, only that. Okay, That's... thank you. Can Can you roll up? Uh, I I okay. want to check the first part. I yes, that that song. Like, uh, I was thinking that song rings my bell. When you say that something rings my bell, is it? it is like, a, it seems like you know it. The first uh, slide, please. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, tonight music seems... You said, uh, yeah, definitely you don't have... Uh, uh, the possessive adjectives. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. there's no, no, there's no that. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Yes, I was, I was thinking. I know this sound word. I guess it's George Michael is the singer, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, actually, I was listening uh, in the morning a song that that is from a band that, that he belonged to. It is Wham. I guess. I guess it is. 
but the, the song was about Christmas. Very nice. I recommend it. I'm going to 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 look for it. Okay. Thank you, uh, Maho. Do you do you like this song or for it's for your mother's uh, favorite song or a person who who likes this? I was thinking about a song that all we us hear before. <laughs> No, okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Very good job. I like it. And if you notice a lot of words that you know, right? If you pay attention to, to the details, uh, if you are like listening, especially 80s music, you're going to find that uh, the lyrics, you you, are, you have like familiar words. Thank you, Maho. Um, Maritza, can you do it tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Thank you. So uh, you have seen, right, the dynamic, how we do it. So prepare your song. If you have any questions, you can text me. Okay. Thank you. Let's move now. I'm going to focus on between the difference between say and tell. I don't know if you know the difference. But I will explain you a little bit. I know that you have an idea about this. We have just 28 minutes and we say goodbye, okay? Just uh, three activities and we finish. Okay. Say versus tell. Okay, Robert, can you help me please? Um, reading the first part, I'm going to show you what part. Just give me a second. Editor. Yes, I needed to read this. You say something to someone. Richard said he has a new car. Mary said, I'm tired to his father. Michael said he was tired. Thank you. So if you notice in the first part is present, Mary, uh, Richard says, and the second one is the past. Mary said, Michael said. So. Um, in the second one, it is like quotations. Es cuando se está citando a alguien. Citando. Michael said, I'm tired to his father. Okay, this is literally the words that Mary said. Okay, so that's it. Um, here we have the other one that is tell. Okay. Um, Morelia, could you help me please? With the yes. second part. Mm -hmm. Okay. You tell someone something. Uh, Richard told me he has a new car. Mary told me his father, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. Hungry. Ah, hungry. I'm sorry. Hungry. There is a, a, there is an R that is not there. Thank you. Mary told me his father, I'm hungry. And Michael told Richard that he was tired thank you so in this case we use object pronouns Util utilizamos eso, los object pronouns for example i told you i told her told him so that that is uh, the first one you say something to someone okay to so this is algo a alguien uh, you tell someone something. Le dices a alguien algo. I know that this is kind of complicated. Teacher, what are you saying? I don't get the difference. And we're going to check it. Here we have some exceptions. Uh, Maho, could you help me, please? Exception. Yes, exception. Tell, plus, story, mm -hmm. story joke, lie, and truth. And uh, examples, Mary tells nice stories. I told a joke. Uh, he told a lie and I I always tell the truth. Thank you. So these are exceptions but normally when you use tell is for a, a person directly. For example, Maho told Robert that she was sick or Morelia told her mother that she loved her or Maritza told me that tomorrow she's going to present the song. Se dan cuenta, told me, told you, told her mother, is directly, va directamente el tell o el told, que es el pasado, the tell, 
con la persona. But when you say, eh, cuando ustedes utilizan el say, vas a decir algo. Richard says he has a new car. Ricardo dice, él tiene un nuevo carro. Ricardo no le está diciendo a alguien directamente, simplemente lo dice, dice algo. Richard says he has a new car. Mary said, I'm tired to his father. Aquí sí lo dijo a su papá, pero lo dijo antes que no dice María le dijo a su papá que está cansada. Mm -mm. María dijo, estoy cansada a su papá. So that's part of the order. Uh, Michael said he was tired. Michael dijo que estaba cansado. Y no dice a quién. So this is a tip. But when you tell, cuando utilizan tell, eso va directamente a alguien. Es como que le vas a contar. Es como la diferencia entre decir y contar. ¿Verdad? Mm, similar. De contar no de números, sino que contar un chisme. Mm, contar una noticia. So that's it. We're going to take some examples so for you to have a better idea. Yeah. I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, why this conjunction that is between the parentheses? Mm, okay, Michael, Michael told, told Richard, Richard he was tired. So uh, we use that when we don't use quotations. Uh, for example, in second uh, examples, Mary told his father, I'm hungry. Uh, second here, Mary said, I'm tired to his father. So we use uh, quotations cuando utilizamos la, la, las comillas, no utilizamos that. Pero cuando utilizamos, cuando utilizamos el that, no van las comillas. Por ejemplo, Michael told Richard that he was tired. Michael le dijo a Richard que él estaba cansado. Entonces, se puede poner that o no, pero normalmente se utiliza y las comillas es literalmente lo que él dijo. ¿Ok? Como cuando le llega, por ejemplo, Majo dijo, me cae mal mi jefe. So, imagine, that's literally what she's saying. O María eh, Majo said that she hates eh, her, her boss. Majo dijo que ella odia a su jefe. So, that's part of, la, like, literally say something. Cuando vean comillas, es que literalmente está diciendo eso. ¿Ok? But, uh, yes, part of the explanation here. I don't Thank know you, teacher. Just, you're welcome, my friend. Anytime. Maybe if you, we have some examples, we can do it. Okay. And let's see here. I'm sorry. This is not. This is the one. Okay. Let's try to do it. Let's try to do it. Relax. Look at one or two. Two sentences. Remember, try try to have two options. Si no se la gana. Two or three options to have an idea. And you tell me. It can be. It can be. Tell. Or in the past. Told. Say. Or in the past. Said. Como en español tener sed. Tener sed. Said. No said or said, no said. Okay. You tell me. Select one of these. We have 10 options. Number one. Okay, number one, Roxana. What did he tell you? Yes. So que aquí sería tell. Porque el mismo uh, did. Es el auxiliar para hacer um, el pasado. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. What did he tell you? ¿Qué te uh -huh. contó? Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Any other? Number two. Uh -huh. Can you tell me where the post office is, please? Yeah. Can you tell me? Uh -huh. Surfaces. Perfect. Who else? Number three. Mm -hmm. What did he say to you? Yeah. Si no tuviera el tú, tendría que ser tell, porque como les digo, va directamente a la persona. So what did he say to you? 
Yeah, very good point. Okay, maybe we can Therefore, have four. Harry, always, always tell me hmm? about his day at work. That's because he's talking about of some things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the test. Today. Definitely. I don't know if you remember, I had, well, no, you don't remember my cousin. I had a cousin, a girl, uh, I have, well, She's still alive, so I have a cousin. But in the past, he she used to listen a lot of Backstreet Boys. And she used to listen one song that it said, tell me why, blah, blah, blah. So tell me why was like recorded in my mind. So now when we say this, this kind of exercise, if you, if you can see me, so tell me, it is kind of easy, okay? There's another song from the Beastie Boys, I guess. It is like, tell me why. But, well, anyway, uh, Maho, maybe? You can have some. How can you say that? Mm -hmm. How can you say that? And this is like an expression of surprise. When a person say, I don't love you. How can you say that? Thank you, Maho. Ernest, are you there? I guess you have disappeared, my friend. We don't see you. Are you okay? Everything okay? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Uh, any sentence that you want to say? Uh, let me see. Remember, tell, told, say, or said. Number six, uh, I think told me. What he say to you, please. Okay, eh, tell me. Tell me. Tell Cuéntame. me. Yes. Cuéntame. Tell va, fíjense bien. Fíjense bien. Esta está bien curiosa. Cuéntame qué te dijo a ti, por favor. Aquí está el tell me y el tell. Que es en pasado bien extraño. Tell. Thank you. Eh, Nancy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Janet. Say that the book is her. Okay, we can say two options. Janet says, or in the past, said, right? But it, you can say, uh, Janet says, mm -hmm, says that the book mm -hmm, says, bien raro, ¿verdad? says, no es says, sino que says. Janet says mm -hmm. that the book is hers. Thank you, Nancy. Well done. Okay, uh, to advance here, maybe we can have um, some other uh, participations. For example, Maho, can you help me with one more and Roberto? Okay, they, they say, they say, mm -hmm. so they say, say, it's too hot there in summer. Thank you, very nice. Okay, Robert, and then we finish with Morelia. Okay, number 10 or number 9? Depends on you. At number 10, mm -hmm. Anna always say the truth. Yes, it says because it's a third says. person. Mm -hmm. What's yes, that Anna... great pronouns? I'm sorry? What's the pronouns of this word? Says. says. Anna always says. Mm -hmm. says. Anna always says the truth. Says she never truth. lies. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Thanks. Mm, that's it. Anytime. Okay. So Anna is very honest. Uh, Morelia. Yes. Nice. I think that is don't tell Carol about the party. Mm -hmm. That's it. Imagine. There is two options. Don't tell Carol about the party because it is a, a secret party for Carol, or you don't want to invite Carol. So anyway, you have to use tell. Thank you very much. So that's it. We have like completed this and 
I guess now you ha we have like a, a clear idea about how to use tell and say, okay? And even there are some expressions. For, for example, uh, have you seen the speaking activities? Tell uh, an anecdote, tell a story, tell in, in, in that way. Normally when you use tell, it is uh, that when you're going to expand a little bit, but when you use say, it is that you're going to speak but few words. For example, um, here we have this with deceptions. You can say, for example, you can say one word, you can say yes, you can say no, you can say if you agree, you can say if you like, yes, I like, no, I don't like. But when you use tell, look at this, tell nice stories told a joke, told a lie, okay, the truth. So when you, you tell a joke, you take like 30 minutes, okay? When you tell a story, you can tell, you, you can take more than two minutes. So yeah. when you say, when you say something, it is brief, es algo breve. When you use tell normally, normally you expand a little bit. Okay, um, we're going to finish with this, but no, I guess we're going to finish with this. Do you have an unhealthy habit? Which one? Um, I'm going to say something about habits, but later after you say your answers, okay? Please, be honest. Do you have any unhealthy habits? I'm going it to be- It sounds like a confession. I'm sorry? It sounds like a confession. Yeah, I could it be. I like confessions. I love confessions, Aurelia. Definitely. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to be waiting, please. I'm going to give you like one minute in the chat.
Ok, as Morelia said, confession time. So, oh, definitely the first person. Uh, Ernest, you want to be the first one. Please, my friend, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. <clears throat> I, I, I have a lifestyle sanitary, so I'm trying to change this because mm -hmm. I, uh, a lot of hours on my day, I I keep uh, sit down. Okay, sit and sit it. Uh, I'm sorry, sit it in and. Yeah, I I need to change this. Okay, Ernest, you work in an office, right? Yes, yes. Mm, and so that's one of the reasons, mainly because your work is based on be uh, working on the computer, some reports, I don't know, or meetings. And you, yes, that's why. But yeah, it, it is uh, like good to make more exercise or to find some uh some ways to stand up to drink water to visit some other areas so you can you can yeah, yeah have more exercise for example or go to the gym or practice sport stuff yeah i know yeah. i have i was like, like like you like a couple of years ago thank you ernest mm -hmm. very honest you're welcome okay. majo and morelia Okay, my my unhealthy habit is that I always eat the snack or churritos with everything. I even add it to sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> this is very good. I promise you will you will taste it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have never been able to stop drinking cola champagne. I like a lot cola champagne. Why well, you were mentioning that. cola champagne and so on? Okay, you are very Salvadorian. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> ma, majo. Okay, Ernest, you you eat a lot some snacks even right or not? When you, as you said, you drink coffee with some other snacks. No, drink drink coffee and um, uh, beers. No, oh, definitely um, necessary. But, but uh, yes, that is not it. Not some healthy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. Yeah. Okay. Majo, oh, okay. I have tried nachos in the burritos, in the Mexican food, and even with tacos, really nice, wonderful. But I don't know the other type of snacks or churritos in in some in sandwiches. It sounds like I'm going to try. I'm going to try. What okay. type? What type of churritos? Palitos. Uh -huh, what type? Um... Uh -huh. Um, the Fiesta Snack has Gomitas. a <laughs> No, <laughs> like a Fiesta Snack or Tostecas or Yucatecas, you put in, include a, a Maruchan with Churritos. Ah, have yes, you? I have seen, I have yes. seen uh, that, that they sell Maruchan with, with that in some yes. sauce. Yeah. yeah, okay. Maybe we can take this advice, this recommendation. But it is not so healthy, right, Maho? Okay. No. Okay. Thank you. Drinking cola champagne. Thank you, Maho, for your confession. Morelia and then Robert. Okay, Morelia. I have uh well, my unhealthy habit is that I Sometimes smoke cigarettes. Okay. When you say sometimes, it means how <laughs> much times during the week? And or during for, the day? It's for uh, temporada? Season? Maybe. Season. Yeah, it's season. for season. It's some, for example, when I'm stressed, mm -hmm. I have stress or I, I have seasons with saddest seasons and I I I smoke cigarettes. Mm -hmm, and, yeah. Um, and after that that season, yeah. I I don't do it and
cabeza. I don't know how to say that. Okay. Uh, how, how do you say? I'm sorry. What what was? Uh, cuando cuando estoy como fuera de esas temporadas, me mm -hmm. da dolor de cabeza el olor al al cigarrillo. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it. Yes. It's because maybe you, your body rejects that, or I don't know, but. Um, there are periods of time during the year that are more complicated because we are uh, nervous, we are stressed, we, we have different feelings or emotions. So maybe the cigarettes can help you to balance, right? Or to calm down, could it be? But yeah, definitely, um, even if for seasons, yeah, small, cigarettes are not so healthy, but well, it is good that you don't do it every day, at least. Thank you, Morelia. Very nice. Uh, well, not so very nice, but thank you for telling. <laughs> uh, Ro joking. I'm kidding. Uh, Roberto, Robert, and then Brandon. Okay. At the moment, my unhealthy habit, habit is live without exercising. I need to practice some sports. Mm hmm Okay, sometimes it's because we don't have too much time depending on our agenda, our schedules, or sometimes we have some time, but we don't want to do it. But yeah, I I recommend you to, to do some, some sport. Maybe you can have more energy and you feel like, like good with yourself. Okay, nice, Robert. Uh, Brandon, can you say it? If not, I can read it for you. Yes, I am. My only habit is maybe drink a lot of soda because I don't have any vices. Okay, good for you. You don't have any vices, but soda is kind of vice, but it's because yeah. it is full of sugar. It is a lot of concentration of, of sugar in your body. But okay, how many sodas do you drink every day or per day? Maybe one or two cans. Mm -hmm. One or two cans. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe uh, you can drink water as well, but I know the water doesn't have the same flavor. Yeah, okay. but but I drink I drink a lot of okay. water. Perfect. Yeah. Try to have balance. Thank you, Brandon. Okay, Nancy and Vicky. Okay, Nancy. My unhealthy unhealthy habit is a snow alarm. Okay, so you have snaps, or uh, what you mean is that the alarm is ringing and you a don't minute. wake up. Two minutes. Really? Uh, yeah. okay. That's why I usually get up, get up late. Late, okay, yeah. It is uh, maybe, maybe a matter of decision. Definitely, yeah. it is difficult to wake up or to get up in the in the morning, but... Yeah, the objective of the alarm is to have one <laughs> and get up <laughs> with that immediately. But I know yeah. it's difficult. Thank you, uh, Nancy. Vicky, I guess you are uh, driving, right? No, I, I am coming back to my house right now. Okay, please, yours. Um, I have a unhealthy habit is mm -hmm. uh, drink. And many uh, coffee cups <laughs> with okay. I don't know if it is sweet bread. Sweet Pan bread. Dulce? Yes. It, it, <laughs> the problem. The problem is that it is a delicious combination. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, it's addiction. <laughs> yes, it's an addiction. I know. I was like that, like, like you, the last year. I love. But. Uh, the last months, I try only drink coffee. Yeah. With soup, with it, with, yeah. with uh, sweet bread. Okay, and I try. try. Yeah, Every try. I try. <laughs> Perfect. Try, but uh, even you should try coffee with few sugar or with no sugar. That's the best. No, I uh, I not drink with sugar. Okay. Perfect. Thank I don't you. Like sugar. <laughs> Perfect, Vicky. And Roxana, and we say goodbye. Okay, Roxana. Okay.
I like uh, chupitos with soda or chupitos with banana. I don't know what is that, chupitos with banana. It sounds like very strange, Roxana. Yes, my partner told me that. I guess it I is kind of... I like it. <laughs> okay, I can imagine that flavor. Okay, yes. that, that is very crazy. But yes. thank you. Okay. okay, Roxana, can you wait uh, after the class? We're going to have this yes. session. Okay, yes. the rest the rest of you, my friends, I already took the attendance list. Raquel says, I have a habit of rating junk food, right? Okay, here yeah, junk food it is not so healthy, but maybe we can talk tomorrow. Ya no pasamos un minuto. Okay, my friends, uh, Raquel, si gustas mañana seguimos también contigo. Have a good night. Ya pasé lista. No se preocupen con sus speaking activities. Okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. My good friends. night. Bye bye. Okay, uh, Roxana. Okay. Well, uh, a couple of questions to you. Number one, um, did you take any English course before this in another academy, in another institution? I take a course, but in 1997. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I 19, started uh, 1997. 19, oh yeah, sorry, 1990. Uh, mm -hmm. I started at the um, Centro Cultural Salvador. Ah, well, it, it's a good institution, yeah. Yes, I was studying there for two years. Mm, that's the reason, yeah. Do you remember yes. what level did you study or did you finish all the course, all the courses? I finished, but I didn't pass the... The TOEFL awesome. test. Mm -hmm. yes. TOEFL test. I, I, I didn't pass. So you didn't get the certification, the no. final certification. Mm, that was no, the I reason. Did. Yes, I, and after I didn't take the other exam. So I oh. missed that. Okay. Yeah, it happens. Remember, um, a test, it, it is, it is, it is, not always going to evaluate all the complete knowledge that you have but yes. it is like a parameter to know the level of english that you have but because i can i listen to you and you have very good vocabulary very good grammar good pronunciation so you are doing really good but i don't know if in your work you practice your english or it is until now that you are studying English again. Also in my work, I practice, but it's most uh, with writing. Ah, with the writing, yeah. Yes. Maybe you work with I, emails, chat, you, yes. you communicate in that way. Mm, yes, okay. sometimes I speak with um, suppliers, but mm -hmm. it's not, not too much. Yeah, and you're not going to talk about, you're not going to have a lot of long conversations it is like very no. concrete yes straight yes. to the point okay uh well uh roxana you have a very good english and i know that some of you have a good level of english um if you notice i try to give you opportunities to all participants to speak uh, through different uh, activities for example speaking activities and uh, some questions. I hope yes. you you don't feel like uh, uncomfortable or you don't feel bad with activities that we that I'm doing because I try to have like a dynamic class. I know it's difficult after the class after your work, right? Studying yes. at night, it is not. But I hope you like the classes. And uh, we have just what like ten classes and we finished. So we are doing good. Mm -hmm. No, yes, I like it too much, teacher. I like too much because you make us to participate very much. So I like it. 
Yeah. That, also, and, and, I, I like it too much. Listen, uh, listen to music in English. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Practice and and singing. <laughs> yeah, yes, like and it. do it, do it every time you 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 mm -hmm. can. Um, I learned a letter by listening to music, but also I learned by pronouncing singing. Yes. It is not that you're going to shout, but uh, yeah. the more you pronounce, the the better English you're going to have. So it is that. Well, uh, yes. Roxana, uh, practically you're okay in this level. Even you are advanced to this level, but definitely, uh, you are. I tried that you learn new vocabulary if you notice i present some mm, phrases at the beginning of the class you have noticed that when yes, i check the attendance list mm -hmm. and i know I mm -hmm. maybe some you know some of these uh, of those phrases maybe not but that's the the objective to present you so even if you have a very good level of english to present you different types of vocabulary words or phrases so you can learn a little bit day by day. Yes, I like it. Uh, I like to, to hear that, Roxy. Okay, so we're going to finish until here. See you tomorrow. And soon you're going to have the opportunity to present your song. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to night. You. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.